Um, and this one is just talking about kind of membership and safety. So as we started to get out of the test brigade and disasters actually started to happen, we started to have people wanting to do events. Learning from those experiences, we recognized we should have some educational basics around the safety and use and maintenance of the batteries, as well as a membership process, like form and flow process. So we basically came up with the introduction to how to care and maintain for the battery. This is important, we felt, so that people didn't either hurt themselves or damage the batteries. So we found that, that was important. Additionally, there was a lot of discussion around how who should have access to the batteries and how membership, what we, if you want to think of it that way, should work. For us, what we ended up doing is we had two official forms for membership or use. One was the terms of service, which reminded the person that they should uh, study the safety guidelines and educational material before using the battery. And then we also had what we, we've referred to as a library card membership where someone would sign like a term agreement as a member saying that they are formally a, a member of the collective and would like to check out a battery, if you will. That's the analogy we were using in the future or anything like that. Again, that's how we broke down membership and understanding our learnings from how to take it from just an experimental group to a more diverse group where people have friends and friends and it's more spontaneous, but we also still, people still really wanted to understand the boundaries of members versus non-members. <clears throat> so key takeaways were really, at some point we did have to craft <clears throat> some crude or rough membership agreements and safety guidelines. I think those are, will be provided as resources. So you see what we came up with. Again, these are just templates. And for us, what we ended up using. It was quite a lot. In that process, after this whole storytelling section, we're going to have you experience it. It's very brief. So that would make a lot more sense. Eugene. Yeah, the, the safety issue is not just us as in the collective knowing about how to handle these batteries. But if we drop them off at somebody's house, obviously, that person is not particularly uh, trained. So my thought, I just got this thought a minute ago. I have a spare car I don't really use for much. I've got 1500 pounds of extra batteries I don't use for my solar off-grid system. And I could put them in the car and I've got extra inverters, uh, 4,000 watts of inverters, drive up with four 100 foot extension cords and I could service four houses at once. That's in, awesome. In in the neighborhood. And just sit in my car maybe with a buddy so that the car would be safe. And all that all that the person would have to deal with is an extension cord coming in their house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was an awesome idea. Thank you for sharing that. I, I'm just going to wrap this section up and then we can move on to the, the next uh, exercise a little bit. Just one thing I always, I just want to bring home is this idea of is, is logistics and transportation a strict business or is it actually more of a playful, fun thing? A lot of our indigenous ancestors that lived on this continent experimented with farming. It, they didn't to start, figure out one day they could start sitting in one place and grow and everyone just decided, let's just start growing cereal, grains, and maize, right? It, the agricultural revolution was actually 3,000 years of playful understanding of what it could possibly mean to live in, what it would mean to sit, settle down and have agriculture or have seasonal gatherings, throwing seeds at flooding heads of rivers and things and seasonally coming back. So I think embracing the idea, because we always think that these things are very serious and they need to be hammered out perfectly to make the thing right. But reality is, is it takes time and iteration. And I think thinking of it as having fun and playing, like Eugene was just experiencing legitimate fun and thinking about how he could provide power to his community. And so we want to just make sure that is at the core of all of this. All of these things are important, but at the end of the day, it's about us. So I just wanted to end with that. 
Yeah, thanks for that. And maybe this would be a good time for us to just transition into experiencing the process that the People Power Battery Collective works. 